first town to receive the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh on their tour of the Principality is Brecon, where they are welcomed by the Lord Lieutenant Major General G.T. Rex. General Rex introduces the Mayor of Brecon, Colonel D.L. Jones. One for the family album. In the station yard, the royal couple meet the High Sheriff, the councillors, and other local dignitaries. The big occasion on the royal programme in Breconshire is the county's bicentenary agricultural show. On the way to Newton Park, there's a warm welcome every yard of the road. At the showground, ten-year-old Miss Evans has a bouquet for the Queen, and a very graceful curtsy. Hereford Bulls in the stock judging ring competing for the James Bryce Cup. The county is rightly proud of its Herefords. The Queen presents the James Bryce Cup. Now the medals for veteran farm workers. Without their skill and experience, the entries to this show would not reach the high standard they do. Over the border into Carmarthenshire, where the Ask Reservoir awaits inauguration by the Queen. Here too, a loyal welcome greets Her Majesty, both official and unofficial. To commemorate the occasion, the Queen unveils a plaque, in Welsh and English, on the banks of this fine reservoir, which was created to supply Swansea with millions of gallons of water. After the unveiling ceremony, the Queen and the Duke visited the Valve Tower, nerve centre of the whole project. The royal couple are very impressed by this great new addition to South Wales resources. The Queen and the Duke embark in the Royal Barge at Nayland to join their yacht Britannia, their base during the Welsh tour. The Queen and her husband have much travelling to do these days, and the Britannia is certainly proving a very useful floating headquarters for both home and overseas visits. The royal couple attend divine service at St David's Cathedral. The Dean of St David's, the very Reverend C. Whitton Davis, conducts them into the cathedral, where the Bishop of St David's preaches the sermon. After the service, the Queen meets Captain Watts Williams, coxswain of the St. David's lifeboat, and his crew. With such a full programme, the Queen and the Duke cannot visit Wales as often as the people of the Principality would like. So when they do come, Wales gives them a welcome they will long remember. <laughs>